What is happiness? Is it a consistent state of euphoria or a fleeting moment of joy? This question has sparked numerous philosophical debates and the answers have varied vastly across cultures and through the sands of time. In ancient Greece, happiness was considered a divine gift, a blessing bestowed by the gods. Fast forward to the 21st century and many perceive happiness as the accumulation of wealth, fame and success. But does this modern definition truly capture the essence of happiness? Let's consider the anecdote of a man who seemingly had it all. Wealth that could rival a small nation's GDP, fame that echoed in every corner of the globe, and success that was the envy of his peers. Yet, despite his vast riches and accomplishments, he felt an emptiness gnawing at his soul, a void that his material possessions couldn't fill. He had everything that society told him should bring happiness, but he was far from it. This man's story serves as a stark reminder that the external markers of success we often chase are not the key to true happiness. In the East, the concept of happiness is often tied to inner peace and harmony. The Buddhist philosophy views happiness as a state of mind, independent of external circumstances. The Dalai Lama, a prominent figure in Buddhism, famously said, happiness is not something ready-made, it comes from your own actions. So, what did our man with everything but happiness do? He embarked on a journey, a quest for understanding. He explored different cultures, engaged with various philosophies, and delved into his own psyche. He discovered that happiness is not a commodity to be acquired, but a state of being to be nurtured. Happiness, he realized, is about appreciating the simple pleasures of life, about finding peace within oneself, about being content with what one has while striving for personal growth. It's about being present, being compassionate, being grateful. The man realized that happiness is not about having, it's about being. This revelation is the first step towards understanding the enigma of happiness. As we delve deeper into this topic, remember this insight and carry it with you on your own journey to true happiness. So, if happiness isn't about having, what is it about? Let's delve into the labyrinth of our minds and hearts to explore the concept of internal happiness. This within us is not about acquiring more, but about being more. It's about contentment and peace. It's about finding joy in the simple, ordinary and often overlooked parts of life. Let me share with you a tale, a true story of a woman who found happiness not in grandeur, but in the simple daily activities of life. Her name was Mary. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. Mary wasn't a celebrity. She didn't have a six-figure salary. She wasn't on the cover of glossy magazines. She was an ordinary woman living an ordinary life. But Mary was one of the happiest people you could ever meet. She found happiness in savoring her morning coffee, feeling the warmth of the cup in her hands and inhaling the aromatic fragrance. She found happiness in the rustle of leaves under her feet as she walked in the park and the laughter of children playing nearby. She found happiness in the quiet moments of solitude, reading a book or simply sitting in silence, feeling rhythm of her own breath. Mary was present in every moment of her life, engaged, fully alive. She didn't wait for some grand event happen to feel happy. She found happiness in the here and now, in the mundane and ordinary parts of life. She didn't chase happiness, she lived it. Mary's journey shows us that happiness is not about having more, but about being more. It's about being present, being content, and finding peace within ourselves. It's about savoring the simple joys of life and finding beauty in the ordinary. It's about realizing that happiness is not a destination, but a journey, a journey within. Happiness, she discovered, was about savoring the present moment and finding joy in simplicity. So let's take a leaf out of Mary's book and embark on our own journey within to discover the true essence of happiness. But what about those times when life gets tough and happiness seems elusive? Life is an intricate tapestry of experiences interwoven with threads of joy, sorrow, triumph and adversity. It's during those times of hardship that we often find ourselves questioning our ability to feel happy again. Yet, it's precisely during these challenging times that we can discover a more profound, resilient kind of happiness. Let's consider the story of Alex, a man who faced one of life's most difficult trials. Alex was an accomplished architect, a loving father and a dedicated husband. 
However, his world turned upside down when he was diagnosed with a severe illness. The news was devastating, but Alex chose not to let it shatter his spirit. Instead, he turned to his faith. He began to trust in a higher power, to believe that there was a purpose behind his pain. He started to spend more time in prayer and meditation, seeking solace and comfort. This trust in the divine wasn't just a coping mechanism. It was a transformative force that helped him find happiness in the midst of his struggles. Alex began to see his life from a different perspective. His faith gave him the strength to endure his treatments, the patience to handle the pain, and the courage to face each day with a smile. He found happiness not in the absence of difficulty, but in his ability to remain hopeful and joyful despite his circumstances. His faith became his anchor, his source of comfort, and his path to happiness. Alex's story is a testament to the power of faith in maintaining happiness, especially during challenging times. His trust in a higher power didn't eliminate his problems, but it gave him the strength to face them with grace and positivity. It allowed him to discover a happiness that was deep, enduring, and unshakable. The path to happiness isn't always smooth or straightforward. Sometimes it's a winding road filled with obstacles and challenges. But those who trust in the divine who believe in a higher purpose find a profound sense of happiness and peace. In his darkest hours, his trust in the divine brought him a profound sense of happiness and peace. So what are the secrets to finding true happiness in life, you may ask? Well, let's unravel this mystery together. First, true happiness is not about having, it's about being. It's not about accumulating possessions or acquiring wealth. It's about being content with who you are and what you have. It's about appreciating the beauty of your existence and the unique gifts you bring to the world. It's about understanding that you are enough, just as you are. Secondly, true happiness is about finding joy in the present moment and simplicity. It's about relishing the now, embracing the beauty of the present, and not worrying about the past or the future. It's about finding joy in simple things. A beautiful sunrise, a tender smile from a loved one, a hearty laugh with a friend. It's about understanding that happiness is not something to be chased in the future, but something to be found in the present. Moreover, true happiness is about trusting in a higher power during difficult times. It's about understanding that life is full of ups and downs, but there is a divine plan at work. It's about having faith that the trials and tribulations are not to break you, but to shape you into a stronger and wiser person. It's about finding comfort and peace in the idea that there is a higher power guiding your path, even when the road seems tough and uncertain. But remember, these secrets are not one-size-fits-all solutions. They are mere guidelines to help you on your journey. You have to find your own way, your own path to happiness. It's about carving your own journey and finding what works best for you. It's about understanding that happiness is a personal journey, unique to each individual. Because at the end of the day, true happiness is not a destination, but a journey. It's a journey of self-discovery, of understanding yourself, and of finding peace within yourself. So embark on this journey with these secrets as your guiding light, and find your own version of true happiness. Having unraveled the secrets to true happiness, it's time to put them into practice. Remember, the journey towards happiness is personal and unique, just like you. It's about embracing who you are, appreciating the present moment, trusting in a higher power, and carving your own path. But it's also about sharing and connecting. Happiness grows when shared, so why not spread a little joy around? If you found this video helpful, we encourage you to like, subscribe, and share it with others. Let's spread the message of true happiness and help others embark on their own journey towards it. Because together, we can make the world a happier place. So what are you waiting for? Start your journey towards true happiness today. Embrace it, live it and share it. Thank you for being a part of this journey with us. Please like and subscribe to Motivate HQ. Thank you.